Hi everyone, in this video we're going to revise how to calculate the concentration of a solution in grams per dm cubed. For higher tier students, I'm going to do a future video looking at how to calculate the concentration in moles per dm cubed. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. So first of all, we're going to have a look at what we actually mean by the concentration of a solution. So I'm going to make up two different solutions. The first thing to remember about solutions is that a solution is always made up of a solid part, which is the solute. So here I've got some crystals of potassium permanganate. And the solution is also made up of a liquid part, which is the solvent, in this case water. So in this solution, I've got the same volume of solvent. I've got 300 centimetres cubed of water in each beaker but I've got a different mass of solute. I've got 0.1 grams of potassium permanganate and one gram. So when we make up the solutions and give it a stir, we can see the effect that the different mass of solute has on the concentration of the solution. Now, when we're talking about solutions, it's really important to avoid using words like strong and weak. So in everyday language, people might say that's a stronger solution because it's a deeper colour and that's a weaker one, but that relates to the acids and alkalis topic. So in chemistry, it means something different. So we're not going to use words like strong and weak. Instead, we would say this one is a more concentrated solution, as we can see with the deeper colour. This one is a less concentrated solution, or we could even say it's more dilute. This time we're going to keep the mass of the solute the same. In each case we've got 0.4 grams of copper sulphate, but we're going to change the volume of the solvent. In this beaker I've got 100 cm cubed of water, and in this beaker I've got 300 cm cubed. So let's see what effect it has on the concentration of the solution by changing the volume of the solvent. We'll just give it a chance to dissolve. And what we can just about see is that the concentration of the one with less solvent is greater. So we can tell by the slightly darker colour that this is more concentrated and that one is less concentrated. If we think about what affects the concentration of solutions, we need to think about what we've just seen in the practical. So first of all, if we wanted to make a solution more concentrated, we could either add more of the solute, the solid, or use less water or whatever solvent you're using. To make a solution less concentrated, you could add less solute, less of the solid that you're adding, or we could use more water, in other words, dilute it down. So how do we actually calculate the concentration? The main equation you need to remember is this one. The concentration is the mass in grams divided by the volume in dm cubed. Now dm cubed is a unit you might not have come across before. One dm cubed is one litre. So imagine um, a water bottle with a litre of water in, that's the amount we're talking about. The unit for concentration is going to be g slash dm cubed because in the formula, We've got G at the top, then we've got underlined, so imagine that's the slash, and then dm cubed at the bottom, so it's grams per dm cubed. Now, if we put that into a triangle, so we can work out different variations of this, mass is above volume in the equation, so mass goes at the top of the triangle, and then we've got concentration and volume underneath. So if you wanted to work out the mass, you cover up mass in the triangle and you're left with concentration times volume in dm cubed. 
I can't stress enough how much we need to realize that the volume is in dm cubed. A lot of people make mistakes here if the exam question is in cm cubed. You first of all need to convert it. So to convert cm cubed to dm cubed, we divide by 1000. For example, 250 centimeters cubed, once we divide it by 1000, becomes 0 0.25 dm cubed. So let's have a go at some practice questions. Pause the video, have a go at these on some scrap paper, show all of you working out, and then we'll see how you got on. So first of all, question one, we've got concentration is the mass in grams divided by the volume in dm cubed. It's really important that you show you're working out because first of all you're more likely to get the right answer. You won't be tempted to skip some steps and also if you do slip up in your calculations you will get marks credited for showing you're working out along the way. So in this question the mass is 50 grams divided by the volume in dm cubed which is 1.5 dm cubed and that comes to 33.3 grams per dm cubed because we've got grams at the top then the line then dm cubed so it's g slash dm cubed question two is very similar so on this one once again we write out the equation concentration is the mass in grams divided by the volume in dm cubed so that comes to 30 grams divided by 0.5 dm cubed so that will be 60 grams per dm cubed now question three i've highlighted the cm cubed to make you realize we need to convert it first in your exam paper that won't be highlighted so make sure you do look out for that so let's do the conversion first 25 divided by 1000 is 0 0.025 dm cubed. And now we can use that in the equation we've been using. So concentration is the mass divided by the volume in dm cubed. So the mass in this question is 20. And the volume is 0 0.025. And that comes out at 800 grams per dm cubed. This time the questions are asking you to calculate the mass. So pause the video. Think about which form of the equation you need to work these out and then resume the video once you've had a go and see how you got on. So in this one we need to have rearranged the equation. So we're using mass equals concentration times volume in dm cubed. So for the first question we need to spot the concentration is this, the one in grams per dm cubed. So it's 2.5 is the concentration times the volume, which is 0 0.5. It wouldn't actually matter if you swap them round, you'd still be multiplying the two together. And that comes out at 1.25 and it's in grams because it's the mass. Question five is similar. So we would use, once again, the full equation we'd write out. Mass is concentration times volume in dm cubed, which is 1.5 times 3.5, and that comes out at 5.25 grams. Question six, we need to spot that it's in cm cubed. So first we need to do the conversion. That should say dm cubed, by the way. So that would be 50. divided by a thousand 
So that would be 0 0.05 dm cubed. So we do mass equals concentration times the volume in dm cubed, which is 1.7 is the concentration. The volume in dm cubed is 0 0.05. So the answer for this question is 0 0.085 grams. So well done if you got all of those correct. So I'm going to show you an exam question practically because people often find it difficult to visualize um, what the exam question is talking about. So first of all, I've got one gram of the solute, the copper sulfate, and I'm making up a solution by dissolving that copper sulfate in 300 centimeters cubed of the solvent in water. So the exam question could be, we then take a sample of that copper sulfate solution. So I've got now, 34 centimetres cubed of that solution and the exam question would be how much copper sulphate, what is the mass of copper sulphate in this small sample of the solution that I made up. So now we're going to have a go at calculating that. These are typical exam questions that we often see. The first one is the solution that I made up on the last video. So it says the solution was made by dissolving one gram of copper sulfate in 300 centimetres cubed of water. How much copper sulfate would be in a 34 centimetres cubed sample of this solution? So if you poured some of it off like I did, how much would be in that small amount of solution? So this is how we tackle these. So the full amount of the solution, 300 centimetres cubed, contained... one gram of copper sulfate. So we then work it out for if we only had one very small centimeter cube. So that would be a really tiny sample. So one centimeter cube would contain, now to work it out for one centimeter cube, we would divide by 300. So that would be one divided by 300 which would be 0 0.003 recurring grams. So you will keep that answer in your calculator because you need that for the next part. So if we know that amount would be in one centimetre cubed, it's then easy to work it out for if we had a 34 centimetre cubed sample of the solution. So that would contain this number that we've got in our calculator, 0 0.003 recurring times 34 and that would be 0 0.113 grams of copper sulfate. Here's another example. This time, pause the video, have a go, see how you get on, and then resume the video to see if you got it right. In this one, we've got 450 centimeters cubed and that contains three grams of sodium chloride. Okay, so if we then work it out for one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube would contain three divided by 450, which is 0 0.006 recurring grams. So you'd leave that in your calculator for the next part. So if we had a sample that was 60 centimetres cubed, that's going to be 60 times bigger than the answer for 1 centimetre cubed. So 60 centimetres cubed would contain 0 0.006 recurring times 60 
which is 0.4 grams. Have a go at question three. Once again, pause the video and then resume it when you've finished. In this question, we've got 400 centimeters cubed containing 10 grams of glucose. So one centimeter cube, we need to divide that number by 400, is 10 divided by 400, which is 0 0.025 grams. So then if we had um, 100 centimeters cubed in the cup, it's going to be 100 times that, 0 0.025 times 100, which is 2.5 grams. Have a go at the last question. Notice that it's asking for your answer in standard form, so that would be an extra mark for that. That would definitely be a three mark question. One mark would be for the converting it to standard form. So pause the video and resume it when you've had a go. In this one, we've got 800 centimeters cubed of water containing 0.5 grams of copper chloride. So that means if we had just one centimeter cubed, it would be 0.5 divided by 800, which is 6.25 times 10 to the minus 4. Grams. So if we had a 20 centimeters cubed sample, we need to multiply that by 20. So that's going to be 6.25 times 10 to the minus 4 times 20. Which is 0.0125 grams. And if we want to change that into standard form, we need to move the decimal place two places. It becomes 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2 grams. So well done if you got that one right. There are other ways of working out these calculations in ratios, but this is a logical way that you can uh, use and it works every single time. So now you know how to calculate the concentration of a solution in grams per dm cubed. If you're studying for the higher tier paper, make sure you check out a future video which calculates it in moles per dm cubed. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching.